Hello everybody, I just wanted to share a little sorrel with you all. I don't know how much of you all know about sorrel, but I think it's something that is known worldwide. You might have different names for it. So this is what sorrel is. So, so I'm just going to show you from the seed when I was cleaning. I had some before, dry the seeds, then plant the seeds, started to grow. Then pick the sorrel, clean the sorrel, and had a nice glass of sorrel to drink. Really nice, eh? Right? It's mostly around Christmas time you would find sorrel bearing, but most times, so like how I would have it in my garden, I will have sorrel through the year, I will have sorrel, just go and pick. <sighs> Doing a lot of videos today, so you know, no too much of self care, head tie up, and just trying to edit some videos, so. But I was doing some sorrel actually and I was like, but I don't think I ever shared that with you all. So, this is my sorrel from drying the seeds to them bearing to cleaning and boiling and a nice glass of sorrel at the end of it. So come on, enjoy the glass of sorrel with me and have a good day. Bye. So this was some sorrel that I cleaned and I placed to dry. I let that air dry for about a week. I didn't place it in any sun or anything. I just placed it on a tree. And then once it dry, once that once it is not green anymore and it's dry, you would open it and you would find the seed. That is what you use to plant. And I would replant them. And then once they grow, I'm going to make some sorrel. So this is where this recipe would come in so i am taking you through the process where i remove this this seed after i dry the sorrel from cleaning some sorrel to make some sorrel juice you can make jam so with this recipe what i actually do with the recipe that is about to come i didn't make like juice with it i make like um a syrup so when I do need do want some juice all I will need to do is pour some in a glass and pour some water and I'll have it there instead of just making a mugger juice and that mugger juice just remaining in the fridge no you want some juice you pour some of that syrup and you pour some water and you drink I just find it's more convenient that way instead of having to make a mug and have that mugger juice just remaining and liming with everybody in the fridge for a whole week because i'm not a juice person so it will take me a really long time to finish drinking some juice because i just i just not a sugar person so now i have some manual that i am going to place in a container you clearly see that i made some little cutting there so that water could flow properly and we wouldn't have too much of water in the manual itself and that is what we just clean now I'm placing the seed in it. And I'm gonna bury it too far down. And now I'm gonna just give it a little bit of water. And I'm gonna place it outside in my garden. And this is what it looks like about a week later. I am not joking, this thing shoot so quickly, I was really impressed. And this is it in all its glory once it is starting to bring forth sorrel you want to make sure that the sorrel before picking is really dark and, and, and have a nice size and once picked you're going to clean and there is all types of way to clean this but the proper way to clean this and plenty of licks that i got as a child is just one way one way only or else you get licks clean to the surface and remove that head and that is how we have to clean it properly i got so much licks for this so then you're going to wash thoroughly and then you're going to add your spices you could add um ginger and all that i use powder ginger nutmeg i use spice and bay leaf cinnamon sorry so as i said nutmeg and cinnamon and whole ginger grit and ginger powder bring it to a boil once bring to a boil to your satisfaction as long as you sip it you're going to strain and you can use the sorrel there once it's strained to make jam 
I did that. So don't throw that away, make a jam with it. So I'm going to make a juice with it. What I would normally do is make a syrup. So when I do feel for some juice, all I have to do is pour some of this in a glass and pour some water and I have juice, instant sorrel, you know? Instead of just having a mug of juice in the fridge, they're just liming for absolutely no reason. And I am not a juice person, so it's, it wouldn't finish. And now we could, it might take me almost a month to drink out that juice. So what would have it? It wouldn't make no sense. So I would normally just make the syrup, put it in the fridge. And if by chance I'm just feeling for some juice, I have this there. Just add some water to it and I have juice for a long time. So once it's cooled down, I'm going to pour into this container and place in my refrigerator. And it was a very, very refreshing cup of sorrel. It really was good. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Do come again. Look out for Jonathan